Hey, what's up, guys? One, two, one, two. Great BGC here, live, and it's 5 a.m. in my time zone where I am right now. And this is the cryptocurrency live stream, my new series on YouTube. It's called the Millionaire Crypto Trading Live, where we trade crypto every day. This is the first day of October in you guys time zone where you are right now in my time zone. It's the second day of October because I haven't slept and it's 5 a.m. because I've been trading all night and getting onto a couple of calls. So October is known in crypto as October. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, smash the like button and drop a comment to let me know what you think it's a long time that i've been on a live live stream my previous live stream were like pre-recorded and stuff now i'm back and the reason i'm live now is to just test my current internet where i'm where, where i am right now i'm currently in bali by the way indonesia so i'm just testing whether the internet of this villa is good enough to allow me to stream and then we can get to business guys so many interesting things to talk about october is here we're gonna trade like crazy make some money looking forward to it bitcoin is already moving and we have a lot to look forward to the us on monday they have to decide are they gonna shut down the government or not and if they don't does it mean that the etf decision has to be made early enough and if your goal is to trade cryptocurrency like we do on this channel, I have put links down in the description to help you get started. There's a link to my Crypto for Beginners uh, video that I put together and also platforms that you can trade with. There is um, currently you can create a trading account on Bybit using my link in the description or using Great BTC as an invite code. You get $20 for free, which at 5x leverage, that gives you 100 bucks to trade. And uh, a free welcome bonus and low fees. If that doesn't work, I have other links to OKX, but also to Bing X if you're in the US and places like that. So it's five here, like I said. So I will be here for a little bit just to give you guys a few pointers of what I'm looking at, what can be traded, and what are the opportunities. So first of all, let's look at the overall market because that will give us an example of the market structure. Man, we're back for real. I see a lot of guys here. Don Martins, Pilani, Jackson, Patrick, Roy, Lucky, Dante. Everybody is coming in, guys. We are ready for October. Smash the like button. We are here. Crypto is back. It's time to make money again, guys. All right, and I have some funds here that I want to be using to tr I want to be using to trade on this live stream. I will show you guys. I have twenty thousand dollars, twenty twenty thousand five hundred now, because I started trading when it was twenty thousand. Today I made five hundred dollars profit, and we'll be using these funds to trade live on this um, on this channel. Every day you have to join and we'll see how much we can grow this account. Okay. So first let's look at what's, what's going on in the markets, man. And you already know my style. I start with the fundamentals, the fundamentals. What do they look like? The macro finance stuff. Is it looking good? How is the U S dollar doing right now? Let's wait for them to load. It has been long, very long. It did give away last. Ah, I would do some. I would do some of that stuff soon. Okay. Right now, guys, it's time to make money with trading. If you focus on trading, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay. So let's focus on that right now, and then we can. When we make enough money on this account, we can then do some. I can give you guys some some dough. All right. Um, so there should be a chart for something that I want to see here. Okay. This is supposed to be the fed balance sheet balance sheet. 
and then we'll look at Bitcoin and we'll look at Ethereum and I'll take a couple of trades that are very aggressive. Don't, don't judge me on it. I'm just doing what I have to do. Okay, I'm just doing trading is what I do, risk taking. And when things work out, we make money. So currently looking at the macro finance world, not much has changed except that Bitcoin has been going up, of course. And the US dollar has been losing its grip lately on the four hour chart. And this is a good indicator for Bitcoin, All right? We have seen a four on the four hour chart. And like you guys know, it's usually an inverse to Bitcoin. Currently on the daily candle, it's starting to struggle. After so many days of green, we have seen a red candle as of yesterday close in UTC time zone. So this to me is indicating that Bitcoin is going, is more likely to go up. And if you look at the markets also overall, most funding rates are extremely positive right now, except for a few, a few things. You look at the funding rates right now, they're getting greener. Like Bitcoin is 0.028 on BTC. And if you look at the volume, Bitcoin volume increased by 46.19%. How bullish does it have to be? So let's look at the chart on, on Bitcoin right now. What are the indicators saying about Bitcoin? What are the indicators saying about BTC? And then we can decide how we want to trade it, okay? So BTC, can you come over here? We want to trade you. This is what the four hour chart on Bitcoin is looking a little bit choppy, but you guys can see that there is a, a rising wage here going on. Maybe not a wage, but the momentum is on the upside. The average being right here around this area, $27,000 playing as the test case for Bitcoin. And what does the daily look like? The daily BTC chart. Oh, now I know that I can stream even on this crappy internet. So based on the daily chart, the volumes are improving on BTC. You remember recently we were going through a period of extremely low volume. That is changing. We're getting some volumes. And according to the Nitrous Bull, Bitcoin is currently bullish. However, there is a floor here or a range being created for Bitcoin and this is what it looks like. So currently, if you look, this is more likely going to be a range for BTC, in my view, right? It's either BTC is going to move something like this. With it, you can see this range has already established itself. We can see many times it, it will do this for a little bit and then either break out or we could see a breakdown. So according to my strategy, I'm going to hedge this position by anticipating two scenarios on either direction and see if it works out. All right. So the bottom level is 26,149. The top level is 27,000. I will reduce this range to a four hour and see how it looks like. Okay. So in four hours, still making a lot of sense. Seems like Bitcoin is at the top of the range where it has to either break out and go to the moon or it has to keep on, it has to fall. Two things are going to happen, but the volumes here are looking good at the same time. We can call on the moving averages as well and have a look. So this is how I'm going to play it. I'll open a, I'll put some two orders at 27,232. And another one at 27,026, or even maybe lower. Uh, it would be like 26,950. One of them is going to be a winner, or at least one of them will, will open, one, the other one will not. So I'm going to execute. It's going to be, well, let's start with the fundamentals first. So, first, I will long it for the longer term because it looks aggressively bullish so i'm going to put um i'll put 10 grand on long bitcoin 5x 
for this small account and I also do it on a four hour, I'll do the same on Ethereum. Okay, let's see how much money. So we have 20,500. Okay, so let's do this. If we're gonna do 10X, we put five grand, that's $50,000. So no question, Bitcoin momentum looks good. So what I will do here, I'm gonna put it by order. BTC at 27,100, it's gonna be the entry. And yeah, that is okay. Yeah, so I'll put 25% of my portfolio, that's 5,000 something. Uh, and my stop loss is, go I mean, my, ta my take profit is going to be 33,000 because based on my earlier analysis today, it looks like that's where we're heading to as all the whales are coming in. And because we are currently in a range, we can look at where the best support level would be. So on the four hour, the critical, based on the previous candles, there have been a support level at 27,013, but I'll give it a little bit more room to breathe. So at the bottom of these two candles here, there's a lot of high momentum at 26,955, and that's where I'm gonna set it at. 26.955. Okay. 26.955 is our stop loss. All right. Everything okay? Let's make sure. Wait, is this, what there is this? Yeah, big TC, UAZT. And I'm going to use, for the stop loss, I'll use Mark. Oh, this is crazy. I see now why it wasn't working. 20, or oh, let's just click in the order book. Ah, flip. 6955. Here we go. Now it makes sense. And here it was running crazy. You have to be careful with these exchanges because sometimes the numbers change in a way that just doesn't make sense at all. 33,000. But why is it in... I want to close the entire position. Remove this here. Trigger price. 33. 1, 2, 3. Yeah, now that makes a lot of sense. Now we're getting somewhere, guys. By bit, please fix the exchange if you're watching us because there's a bug there. And we're exiting, executing the trade. We entered with $50,000 because we're libre. Well, $25,000 now. Okay, I'll also... Oh, volume is so low. Sorry about that, guys. Let me increase it. Too much trading and power. I think my microphone is a little problematic. So what I will do, I, will, I can only fix this when I'm done recording afterwards. So on the next live stream, it's going to be better. The next position is going to be Ethereum. So let's bring out ETH, uh, ETH USDT right here. Ethereum looks incredibly bullish as well. If you, I'll show you why I think that way. If you look at the weekly chart, it seems like it's breaking out. Ethereum one week, October to the moon, for sure, guys, for sure. So this is Ethereum on a weekly chart. So I traded it today. I bought in here and sold within the same week. I made some money. It was a long position. But what I will do is to show you guys, there was a range for a week here where we just ranged within this period. And today we broke out. There is a little bit of resistance here. Once we take off, 
from 1,700 or more, I think we are taking off for the moon. So this is how you enter a trade like this. Because the trade has not been validated yet, you don't want to enter immediately. You want it to break out, right? So the breakout level is going to be like above 1,700. So I would enter somewhere at here, based on this candle here, 1703. So if it breaks out to that level, I will go in with 10x leverage. I'll put 5k on it. Maybe less. Let's say 35 or 30 Ethereum. That's $5,000. And I will only, and this has to be a conditional order. So I'll only enter when it gets to let's say 1007 of uh, 1704 and order price is going to be last 1704 take profit all the way to 2k guys it's going to be good profit there because if it happens it means we make 8k on that position and on the low level, um, on the stop loss level, let's look at that on a daily. Because we have quite a lift here. So I will put a stop loss at the very bottom of the first of the second bullish candle right here. Because you have to give it room. This is, we're looking at a weekly chart where there's a good bounce or even to the support level here at 1625 right one six two five let me make it a little bit lower because on average so on a daily ethereum is volatile by about two percent okay so we could say from here so I'll give it about 3% room, leg room to move around. So that's 1625. I don't like how this function works. Okay, so if it doesn't work out, our loss is going to be 1,409, uh, 1,400, basically, 1,500. If it works out, our profit is 9,000 plus. So that's quite a good ri risk ratio if Ethereum really breaks out on the daily. Who knows? We could make money, we could lose money. It is what it is, guys. Scared money never makes money. So let's pump it. Okay, our entry, trigger price, 1704, order price, 1708, to make sure that the position is going to fill. That's it. That's how you trade. So the position has been projected effectively. Our Bitcoin position has also been filled effectively here. Now, the other positions that I'm still considering shorting, uh, like Bitcoin Cash, these are short-term trades. That have shown some weakness a little bit because they were pumping. And if Bitcoin struggles, we might see them deteriorating as well. Bobby Freedom says, I'm a new trader. I need advice. For sure, man, get a trading account on Bybit. Link is in the description below. You use my link, you get a lot of benefits. Create an account fund it and start playing around with it man just follow this channel subscribe on youtube crypto hustle let's trade together so big on cash i wanted to short it but on the daily it looks like it's just going um the rsi i mean the macd is just um crossing 
on the daily that is right and also it has reached its level of support so if we had to uh, let's extend this a little more You know, I like to hedge my portfolio a little bit. So as much as I'm longing stuff, I also like to short some. And whichever is not working is going to get stopped and the winners will keep on winning. So this is where Nitro's bull becomes very important, guys. Look at it. It went bullish on this day on Bitcoin Cash. If you followed this trade, you must be in great wins right now. So I'm still waiting for a signal on the Nitro's bull to fall here so that I can follow it on the four hour. And on the daily, of course, it, it hasn't changed yet. It's still bullish. So right now with this coin, I don't even know if it's a good time to short because the natural spool hasn't caught it yet. I'm waiting for another signal like this. If you want to get this signals indicator, it's at cryptouniversity.network. Link is in the description. You can buy from there. So another one that I'm looking at is Gala. You guys, I've already told you about this one. Nitro's bull is bullish on the four hour and on the daily, it's still yet to make a call because it's been bearish for a long time. Just trying to break out over here. So it looks like by the time it hits 0 0.015, that's going to be a breakout somewhere here. How many uh, percentages are those? So from here, so it needs to push a little bit more like on a daily 2.75% on the four hour where it's already bullish. It's pushing at the next resistance level is at 1569. Okay. I'll stay out on this one on a leverage position, but I bought already on spot. If you're in my alpha group, you already know about this one. The talk of the town is TRB. This coin liquidated me and I want to make my money. But I'm not revenge trading. It's just a very good opportunity. So, Nitrous Bull has called it short on this coin. Um, out of all the calls that Nitrous Bull has made on the 4 hour on this coin, let's see. It, the first bullish trade was right. And the bear call was right. And the bull call was right even though it wasn't that bullish. And then the bear call here was right, even though it wasn't that bearish. And the bull call was right. And the bear call was right. And the bull call was right. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is crazy. And here the bear call was right. And here's the bull call. And here's another bear call that it has just called it. It's still in consolidation, but it hasn't crashed yet. So I'm going to trade based on the nitrous bull indicator on this trade. Let's see how it's going to perform on TRB. So we're going short TRB. But I'm not going to do this on that account that I showed you guys. All right. All right. Um, I'll do it on a, on a separate Bybit account. Because on this one, I've, I restricted certain coins to make sure that I don't go to degenerate. Okay, so you got XRP, you got Cardano, you got Solana's going on. What does Solana looks like on the charts right now? Another trade I can take. So, by the way, I'm just going to draw this here on TRB. The short position is from here down to the next support line of 46 bucks or more. Stop loss would be at the top of the consolidation. That's 53.57. That's how I'd go about it. Okay. The next coin that I'll look at is Sol. USDT. Ooh, Nitrous Bull just caught it also. Bullish. Four hours. Daily just went bullish. Insane. 
Okay, so this is going to depend on how Bitcoin moves. Okay. What about we wait for an, a one hour signal to move because I don't trust Bitcoin to move up just yet. Wow, man. Oh, however you look at it, Solana looking so juicy right now. So uh, one hour is bullish. Four hours is bullish since yesterday. The next resistance level is 25.45 on the four hour. So I'll go long on this, but my goal still is to find a short. Do you guys have any suggestions of what short should I take? Which coins are the best? Damn, bro. I need something to short, guys. My short hands are shorting, are very hot right now. I might end up opening a potential short on BTC as well. Just in case it falls. Okay, so if we experience a flash crash, I would open, ah, Chainlink. See, somebody telling me about Chainlink. Okay, that's a good one. Thanks, Rof. Looking so juicy. It's also bullish though. The last time, it seems like it topped at $8. So there could be some nice resistance over here from where it's at right now. Uh, and what does the one hour looks like? Okay, one hour is bearish. Even though the last, let's look at the last trades. Bear didn't last long. Bear, bear, bear. Okay, let's look at the market structure first. Look, the short for this one should only be short term, man, because you, you don't really want to, you should have been able to catch the, the a good entry. Okay, so, if it touches this level, 7.720. The next support level is 7.72. Where it bounced back, that's like 2%, 1.63. So Chainlink is on fire. Okay, nice. Nice. I like it. I like it when things are on fire. Okay. So this is the four hour for chain link. It's already approaching 0 0.2 on the fib. And there you go. The actual Gordon ratio is at 6.7. <laughs> okay, so here, here's what we're going to do on chain link, right? I'm going to open a short on it because it pumped quite a bit and it's starting to lose its grip. My stop loss is going to be the last high, so that's 8.2. But we'll aim for the golden ratio. Maybe at 0 0.5 actually. So 6.9 or 6, 1, 6.18, that's 6.732. So that's the trade, guys. That's the short. So link from here, 
until the golden ratio and the stop loss is going to be the top just to give it a little bit of room to breathe but that's a lot that's five percent so but yeah that's fine i can live with that because this crypto is very volatile so if you tighten up your stop losses too much you end up you end up also losing money when you shouldn't your goal is to make money you're a trader let's have a look at how this plays out link usdt So we're saying that we're entering right now. It's a short position. And it's going to be 5x. You have to be careful with these altcoins. They can be volatile. If you're watching on Instagram, by the way, I am on YouTube. So I'll put in 4,000 link tokens, maybe 3,700. Or 3,500. Yeah, that's 5.5. I can live with that. At 5x, $25,000 position. And would enter. I like to be a maker. So I'll go in at like 821, even 822. And take profit. So we're saying 8.2 to be safe, 8.2, 8.2 the stop loss, but the TP on the other side looks like it's 6.713. So look, to be fair, when I'm trading, I don't like to put very tight stop losses. 6.7, oh, anyway, yeah. I don't like to put very strict stop losses because crypto is very volatile and your trades get closed when they shouldn't. So you have to also be careful. Six point seven, six point seven one. What if I don't like this problem? Okay, so trigger change, trigger by ROI, trigger by change percentage. Six point seven. Okay, so I think this is an update from from Bybit. So you have to be aware of it. You can click on this little icon here, and then it will change the trigger for your stop loss. I'm sleepy as hell, guys. It's like 5.52, almost 6. I haven't slept yet. And our stop loss is 8.21, sir. How many times should we say this? Okay, here we go. Now, give us the money. Enter the position. 8.17. Okay. Okay. I have, I cannot trade this coin on this account again because I need to unrestrict it. It's, it's my, we call this we call this a sub account. It's a sub account that I created and I restricted certain coins. So I have to go to my main account and switch them over. 
But I'm tired. We can trade later with you guys. For now, I think I'm going to go to sleep because I'm making a lot of mistakes right now, and that's not good for trading. All right. Let's look at BTC and take one degenerate trade before I go. Just like any other addict, addict will do. Okay, five minutes. Wow, it's crazy. Look at the look at the volumes. How how much they're fighting here? The wells are coming in. Some selling, some buying in. More buy orders from Binance. More sales coming from OKX. What's going on? <laughs> it's crazy. Look. What? Why is it like this? So, let, so far, the biggest in the last minute, the biggest buy has been. Oh, another dump on Binance, three forty nine. What? Who is trying to dump on Bitcoin? It's crazy. Yeah, thanks, operator. I switched the the stop loss and the TP. I fixed it. By the way, if you want to separate your trading, uh, figured out sub accounts on Bybit, it allows you to switch between um, sub account so you can create a sub account for every activity like one account for investing within one account you can have multiple accounts one for investing one for trading and stuff like that you know it's pretty cool So this is clearly a range for Ethereum. The top being in the last five minutes being 1676. The 24 hour high being 1691. So I'm going to open a degenerate trade here. It's going to be isolated. So the way I'm going to do it, I will do it like this. Uh, this is a range. So if I'm trading a range, it means I have to be going short at this moment. And I'll do it. So I'll go in with like 3K. 10x don't use this much leverage i know what i'm doing here i'm just trading short term short term day trade this is what day trading looks like it's all about fast and speed some you win sometimes you don't so my take profits i will not go too low i'll put it one six seven two one six seven two uh, no, i can probably even go lower let's see One six seven two. Um, stop loss. One six seven two. Wow, that is too little for Ethereum movement. One seven six. Wow, this is it. This is how it's been moving. What about this? What was this? This was one triple six. Okay, so it's actually not worth trading Ethereum at five minutes right now. It's crazy. It's consolidating. Why? If even 15 minutes, same picture. So it might break out actually on the 15 minute. 
30 minutes looks pretty similar. Ethereum, I think it's about to take off, guys. Ethereum is the real deal. Ethereum is about to take off. That's why we are putting our position just waiting to get triggered. It's right here at 1704. We'll see tomorrow how it's going to play out. I'll be live here trading with you guys as always. But for now, I got to go. Thank you guys so much for joining me. And stay awesome. Peace.